Thank you. Paulo, did you go yes. to Italy? Yes. That is, this is awesome. <laughs> I visited there in 2008. I visited there. I visited there. In 2008. Wow. That's awesome. I am half Italian. Yes. My, my grandparents come from Italy. I think they were from Sicily. I think so. Yeah. I think... I think I have uh, the part of my my father, my mom is from this same place. Oh wow, that's yeah. awesome! So yes, my grandparents they actually were on a ship and they went from Italy and they settled in New York, right? So when I go to New York, I am going to the Statue of Liberty because, like. At the Statue of Liberty, I think there's there's some names like on the plaque next to it, and I think my grandparents, my, my grandpa's name is actually on there. Yes, so I'm I'm going to yeah. see that, and I'm also going to the street in Brooklyn. Uh, there's a street in Brooklyn where um, my grandparents lived, so I am going to visit that and send a picture wow. to my family. <laughs> You're you are a famous guy. <laughs> Very famous, no. <laughs> but you, you were born in Texas. I was actually born in Ohio, but I was only Ohio. there for like nine months, and then I came to Texas. So I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I was here this morning watching the local news from Austin, uh, from Fox 7. Mm -hmm. just, to, just to find some topic to talk about. <laughs> okay, I love talking about Austin. I like, yeah. I like Austin. But um, now it's a little bit difficult to me understand everything because they talk about roads and when they talk about the weather the uh, roads they they talk about uh, local news and i i i need to watch maybe consecutive days to understand more about the the situation around the city but i i will try before we start uh our English class, uh, watch 30 minutes before. I will try watch the news 30 minutes before. Uh, um, Austin is a place near from your home or not? Yes, I live in San Antonio, Texas, but I can drive, I can okay. drive to Austin in about, about, a little over one hour, so it is very close. Okay, because I can I can watch this news and talk about some topic. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I know the weather in in Texas. I think in general is good, is clear and warm. Uh, at seven thirty. Seven, almost nine o'clock. The temperature is seventy, around the seventy-five Fahrenheit degrees. And very yes, well, it gets very hot though. I think today it is about it, it is going to be about one hundred degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me see. Eh, they. They was talk. The the presenter is correct to say the presenter. No. What was the name of the the person that who present the news? Talk you about would say the news. like the news anchor. Oh, okay. The news anchor is the the main. Yeah, the principal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
they, uh, he was talking about a lot about the massive explosion in Beirut. In Beirut. Did you, you see that? You see it? Yeah. It's that wow. was I have Fred. never seen anything like that. That was like whoa. Yes. That is yes. I I haven't last time I checked, I think they said there was like 50 people that died. I don't see how. It, I, I, I I have to look at that. I'm going to look it up right now, but it looks like way I, more than 50 people died. I think the number, the, the right number now is more than 100 people. Okay. And thousands injured. That's horrible. Yeah, thousands. Yeah. But I, th I, they, I think, they, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. The, the, the scene when I was watching the scene was wow like this like in the movie yeah yeah like i think worse than the movies yeah i when i when i saw i i can't i i i can't believe it. or i could i couldn't believe when i see the 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 size of the explosion it i couldn't believe it when I saw I it, I couldn't believe it. Yes, I, I, I've heard some people say like it was like a power plant, an accident, but I think it was. I think it was personal. I definitely think it was like a bomb. Yeah, they, they, they are, uh, they are saying is correct. They are saying, mm -hmm. they are saying that the the cause of the explosion is on investigation, mm -hmm. but. I think it's a, uh, something uh, created, yeah. Something uh, not a bomb, not not happening like <laughs> not casual. an actual. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 crazy. It is so crazy. I saw that. It was just like whoa. I mean, just unbelievable. Yeah, I think there was a lot more than a hundred people. That died, unfortunately. Yeah. So uh, uh, this oh this ah uh, I I, uh, uh, I they are talking about this is interesting. Um, the they are talking about the firearms. I think this is this is in Los Angeles. They they are they are saying that the number of the firearms increase a lot. Yes, because the well, coronavirus and because the protest. the the protest about the George that the guy George Floyd. Yeah. Yes, things in the United States are pretty bad right now. I mean, the corona the coronavirus for every country is bad enough. But the United States, we have a lot of protests, especially like in Austin, the big cities, right? Yeah. Los Angeles, New York, the protest is very bad. It's horrible, okay? They're just des destroying things, burning down things, flipping over cars, walking around with guns. Um, there's been more killings, right? Yes. And so it's it's been horrible. And uh, I... I don't I don't like the way that some people are protesting. You know, there's there's ways to protest that or you don't have to flip over cars and ride on buildings, you know. But so so yeah, it's it's pretty crazy and wild right now in a lot of the big cities, unfortunately. So yes, yeah. like you said, many people are buying guns because they think it's like the end of the world. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. And actually, yeah. I wanted to tell you, I think in Austin, mm -hmm. you know, some of the protesters have been walking around with guns, right? So in Austin, one protester walked up to a car with his gun out, and the person in his car got out and shot the protester dead. Wow. Yeah, that happened in Austin. But, I mean, yeah. if you are in a car and a protester walks up to you with a gun, you know, I mean... What are you supposed to do? Yeah. It's a bad situation to be in. 
So you can you can walk in the street calm. You can walk in the street with a gun? No, you, you can just walking around and normally you, you need to be uh, like aware of your certain... um well some places yes it, where I live it's not that bad like I can walk in the street and everything's fine. But I would say in some of the really big cities, um, yes. maybe like in the, I, I don't live like in the city center. I live kind of like in the suburbs, like outside the city. Okay. So, so it's, there's no problem, but in the city centers, um, yeah, you might be, want to be a little careful. You might want to be more aware of what's around you. Aware of your surrounding, yeah. yeah, yeah, because someone could can shoot, can shoot, <laughs> shoot, shoot, yes. yeah, around you, yeah, and cause damages. Yes, it's but it's not like people. People really aren't just like they're not like walking around shooting people. Like some people are just like walking around with guns. It's kind of like their way of saying, oh, if the police can have guns, then we can have guns too, you know? It's kind of more like that. But they're not really just like shooting people for no reason. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... I, I just want everything to get better. <laughs> yeah. I, I am planning to go to Austin, but I can wait a little bit more. <laughs> I think you have to wait. Yes, I don't think that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the borders are really open unless maybe it's like an emergency type situation, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that that that's the news uh, from tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's all bad news. It's all bad news. <laughs> Every time I watch the news or read the news, it's always bad. Like 90% of yeah. the time, it's negative, yeah. bad news. <laughs> but but the, here is the same. I don't, um, I don't want, I don't like to, to watch the news here in Brazil because they are talking about bad things the whole day. It's so negative. This, it's just negative. Yeah, the situation is not good about the coronavirus, and and you stay watching these things. It's this is not good for for us at the moment. And it has a negative impact on you and everyone else. It, look, it's it's okay to watch the news because you want to understand what's going on, right? Yes. But when they throw little things out there and even big things that are just so negative over and over all day it's going to it's going to kind of manipulate you and you just give you a, a negative attitude you yeah. know that's why i don't watch the news yeah. <laughs> yeah. i usually toward the news uh, in the morning maybe it's eight o'clock or if I, i can watch the news in the morning i watch the last and notice at maybe 11 p.m. the last news because probably we will be the same at the end at the beginning of the day it's just a summary about the news and i can i can uh, see what happened during the day and the day before yeah it's just to to have some some conversation and some Yes. Hey, so I was watching a little bit of the news yesterday and I saw something where I think someone was in a museum. I think it was in Italy. I could be wrong, but he was okay. in a nice museum and he went next to this statue, right? A very expensive statue. And he okay. laid down, he, he laid down kind of on it to take a picture and he broke, he broke part of the foot, wow. right? <laughs> and he just left it there and he took, like, he left, right? <laughs> But because of the coronavirus, everybody in the museum has to, like, sign 
like sign a waiver, right? So they were able to find out who he was, and now he's in some trouble. <laughs> yeah, but I, I believe that uh, they have a cameras inside the museum and can. Yeah, they 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 had cameras. I was able. I actually saw exactly what happened. It was, yeah, it, it was. But it was funny. Kind of funny. Yeah, it, it was for me. It was funny. <laughs> yes, but yeah. <laughs> Every place there is some some people like some funny people around the world, yeah. Yes, every place. And actually, that happened. Something like that. Well, something like that kind of happened to me when I was in New York. I went to the Museum of Modern Art. It's like a really famous art museum, right? Yeah. And I was there, and I was kind of taking a picture, but I was I had. I was really close to the art. I was probably like uh, like half a foot or a foot away, but they had security there, and they're like, "Hey, you have to be two feet away." And I was like, "Okay, I'm sorry." My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, um, tomorrow you are going to New York. Yes. Tomorrow, yeah, the the great day. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> if I don't get sick, and yeah. If I don't get sick and the plane doesn't crash, it think should so. be a good day. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so either. And actually, my airline that I'm flying on, they're going to test everybody, like with a, a thermometer to check yes. everybody's temperature, which is good. I don't know if it prevents it 100%, but it definitely should help. So hopefully I don't get a temperature, other, because if I do, I'm not going to New York City. I'm going back home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, but I think uh, uh, on Friday we will, we will have a new scenario, and you you have a new backstage, and a new background. Yes, background. <laughs> I will. Yeah, I will. <laughs> so um, I actually arrive. I arrive real late at night, um, about midnight. So okay. yeah. Are you will be near the Empire States or the? No, like no. all the, all the like tourist attractions are in Manhattan. You know, when people see New York City, they basically just see Manhattan. But I will actually be in a different borough. It's called Queens. It's the largest borough. I know. Yeah, I know so that place. Yeah. It's a. I'll be about like. 25 about 25 or 30 minutes away from like all a lot of the popular things okay when i when i was in, in new york city i uh we and my uh, me and my wife we we stay in a hotel in uh 32 avenue is that in times square it's not no it's near is near is in Manhattan, Manhattan. but uh, I uh, uh, I could I could see the 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 Empire the Empire States from my window. The Empire State, but oh wow, that's oh that's fancy, very fancy, very yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was talking to Marcelo yesterday. Yes. He actually has a big poster in his room um, with Times Square. It's huge. It's awesome. Yeah, very nice. I didn't see that that post. I'm going to tell him, "Hey, Marcelo, you should have you should have that poster in your background." <laughs> yeah, I, I saw he was in Minas Gerais. I think last week. And he made a live stream, a live stream. Yeah, from yes. one hour talking about his fans for say, one hour. For one hour. Yes, I was there. I was in the. I was at the live stream looking. Oh, I yeah. Him, I think I, I think I told him Marcelo, beautiful background because there was a big building in the background, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And he was. Saying, "Oh, thank you for watching my videos. Hello, hi, and people <laughs> around around the, the world, yeah, from many uh, states from Brazil and people from abroad. Yeah, all, all over. I think there was a lot of people from like South America 
definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, I think it's good for him. It's, it's, uh, I, I, I thought to, to do something like that uh, years before, but I, I don't have this. I don't know how to teach. Well, I understand. Remember, you don't have to teach English. You can always teach something, you know, you know a lot about, right? Like my girlfriend, she 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 got her her bachelor's degree in art. So, but she also she teaches English or she did. Um, but I tell her, "Hey, babe, you know, you can always teach art." Um, like things like that. But I I definitely plan on doing a live stream when I am, when I am in New York City. Probably in yes. about two weeks because I have to self-quarantine for two weeks. I have to stay in a tiny room for two weeks and okay. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, to stay home, yeah? To be mm -hmm. safe. Yes. Oh, it's good. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, we we have to finish, yeah? Maybe twenty minutes. My day is busy today. What are you going to do? Uh, my my wife is is in a live now. He is participating in a live about uh, her job. He is talking about marketing. Mm -hmm. And I have to go. And uh, to visit my mom for some like few minutes just to say hello and, and, and take some uh, like groceries for her. Mm -hmm. Wear your mask. <laughs> yeah. And after that, I had an appointment. For what, what kind of appointment? I don't know how to say this, but I, a, a blood blood exam. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Well, yes, you do. You have a busy day. Yes, and I have to prepare the the lunch. Mm -hmm. so I I have to start the the I have to start to preparing the lunch. You can say I have to prepare. The lunch. I have to prepare. Yes. Yes. So, the biz, my my day is busy. Me too. Me too. I have to <laughs> cut cut a yard. I have to do some laundry, and also have to buy some things for the trip. Yeah. What what the name of the airport that you uh, take the airplane? I don't know the name of the airport. It's the San Antonio airport, but the name of like my airline is called Frontier. And I actually think Frontier is popular in South America. Frontier. Frontier. Okay. Yes. So the the, the airport is next is next is near from your your house. Yes, I can the drive tower. there. It's about 15 minutes, one five. Oh. So very close. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to do a lot of things, yeah? I do, I do. I have to get some glasses. I have, I have to buy just a lot of small things, even like a whiteboard. Do you know what a whiteboard is? No. It's a it's a board that's white and you can draw on it and erase it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. The white is like the white the white board. You mm -hmm. can write with the red pen and blue pen, black pen, yeah. Yes. I'm going to get one of those because I'm going to do like, you know, some more uh, like teaching videos for YouTube and I want to do some grammar things to help people out and when I say it, it's good, but it's better like if I say it and they see it, right? Yeah. Okay, and you so. can prepare a short videos with this. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Oh, every day, uh, uh, 
I, I believe that in some, in a few months, we will prepare videos every day in a short video. Like, maybe I, 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 I probably will start making more videos because. Yes, <laughs> that's okay. You know, in New York City, there's a lot of distractions, right? There's a lot of cops and ambulances. Yes. Yeah. But yes, so because of the self-quarantine, I will probably make a lot of my like, grammar videos and maybe make more videos because I won't have anything else to do but stay inside. <laughs> yeah, you, you, can, you can prepare this for our or your audience to, to watch. Yes. Many people message me um, like requesting like some grammar videos. They have like a, some questions and they're like, hey, Joe, can you do a video on this? And whatever they want me to, to make a video on, I definitely try um, to do it. How, how many me me messages do you receive during the day? Um. Actually, not too many, probably like, like around five, but I've been getting a lot more because um, on a few of my videos, I think like about three of my videos, I have put my Facebook, I have Facebook, I put my Facebook link in the description. I've done that about three times. So now like I've, I've been getting, you know, about five messages like on Facebook and, and okay. things like that. Yeah. If I if I know someone here that are planning to practice English, I will recommend you. Well, thank you. And you know, I really haven't done too I haven't really done too much advertisement for teaching people with like the private lessons because I already work for two different companies, right? So I work every I, I work every morning, every night, and then I have like people I do private lessons with, right? So I kind of have a lot of work to do, but if I need the if I if I do need like more work, um, then I could, you know, I was going to put like make a YouTube video just being like, hey, I have some time available. Um, if if anybody wants private lessons on Skype, you know, just give me a message. Okay. Um, which uh, honestly I'll probably be doing soon because in New York City it's a little bit of a time difference from where I live. It's one hour difference, right? So it, it makes it easier for me to work in the morning because right now I have to wake up like at four or five in the morning. But so in New York it'll be five or six in the morning when I get. Uh, but at night it makes it more difficult because it's an hour later, right? So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do as far as work goes, but I probably will be able to like open up more slots for private lessons. Yeah. Okay. But I am looking forward to showing you around New York City. You know, hopefully, hopefully when I walk around, I'll have maybe some connection. Maybe I can talk to you in Central Park. If not, oh, well, I, I, it, it will be very. Good class for me around the the that place. <laughs> yes, you know, there's New York City. As you know, you have been there. It's it's very beautiful, right? It's very beautiful. You have the tall buildings. You have you actually have the ocean right there. You have Central Park. You have it's not only Central Park. There's like there's like five. There's about like five really really beautiful parks. I actually, I don't even think Central Park's that, that's beautiful, in my opinion. It's it's huge, but I don't think it's that beautiful. Like, I think there's other parks in New York City that are way better. Because you could yes. see, like, the whole skyline from the park, yes. you know? I, I used to say to my wife, because here in Sao Paulo, we have our financial center. Mm -hmm. is in There is a, uh, a large avenue called uh, Paulista Avenue. I don't know if you if you hear about. Oh, they named it after you. Yes, I have yes. heard about it. <laughs> yeah, and when I when I when my when my wife uh, told me, oh, I love New York City, I said to her, 
Oh, it's the same like Paulista Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there a lot of big big buildings? There usually is yeah. in the financial yes. districts. Yeah. And she said, "Oh, you are crazy. You are not." This is not really <laughs> real, yeah? I said, yes, New York City is okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sao Paulo is a beautiful city, though, too, right? Yeah. I, but I think after 10 minutes or 30 minutes in New York City, you, I, I, I was feeling like in uh, Aven uh, Paulista Avenue. It's the same, like traffic and buses, cars, traffic. traffic. Yeah, yes. it's the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of traffic, very busy, a yeah. lot of noise. People walk very fast. Yeah, the, the, the subway is is crowded. Yeah. I don't it's know about like, now, but yes, it used to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but you ha if you have a flexible time to, to, to leave, you, leave home, like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, uh, or in the afternoon, it's okay. It's like it's like in Brazil. You can go. Uh, we can you can uh, sit in the in the subway. It's okay. You don't have to. Yeah, it, it's good not to go during rush hour. Like you yeah. don't want to go like at six or seven or eight a.m. <laughs> and then like four or five six p.m. Yeah. Then yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. I think before. A until 4 p.m. it's okay is the is the last time to 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 take the to get the the subway after mm -hmm. that it's crazy yeah it's it's like it's the same in, in brazil the same thing yeah so but, i mean yeah so Paulo in the same is huge yeah you, you after some time you you feel like in sao paulo is the same definitely people i don't know if people people respect a little bit because here people like uh, look look like uh, I don't know animals ah, like mm -hmm. pushing pushing you yeah yeah, it's too, yeah. Ah, I don't like this oh either do I trust me either do <laughs> I <laughs> I like my space <laughs> yeah all right, Paulo. Well, okay. we both had busy days. It was good talking to you, and I will see you on Friday. Okay, in New York City. Yes. 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 This Hopefully. Is, <laughs> yeah, this is a good every, compliment. Yes, every, everything will go good. All right, Paulo. Have a good day, and I will see you soon. Take care. Okay, you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.